So, anyways, here's another car video. The topic of this video is how to deal with women with attitudes. Before I get into this video, I just want to let y'all know this channel. First of all, welcome. Thank you for being here. And I want to let y'all know this channel is all about helping men and women be the best they can be in all aspects of their lives. Health, wealth, dating, relationships, mindsets, all that good stuff. So you can be the best version of yourself. And we can have a more positive world and make the world a better place, more positive. So welcome. Uh, and if you have not done so, for you new people, you returning people, welcome, welcome, welcome. And again, if you have not done so, definitely uh, subscribe, hit that notification button so you'll be notified whenever I upload some new videos. And of course, if you just want to support me, help out with the algorithm, hit that thumbs up, the like button. I really do appreciate it. So yes, let's get into the topic at hand. How to deal with women with attitudes. <sighs> so this is a uh, very, very important topic because um, dealing with women with attitudes, there's an art to it. There's no real main way and um, it really depends on you and who you are and if you find the woman really attractive and depending on um, her level of attitude if it's just she's kind of in a bad mood okay but if she's being disrespectful definitely let her go she's being disrespectful but if she's just kind of being difficult but not really being disrespectful these tips will definitely help out um, and as usual I'll have four tips and a bonus at the end, so you definitely want to stay to the end for the bonus. So you could uh, definitely know how to deal with these women uh, the best way possible. So that all being said, again, welcome. Thank you for being here. And let us get into the topic. All right. So, ah, hold on, there we go. That's a lot better. So how to deal with women with attitudes. Again, this is more of an art than a science. So there's no exact way, but these tips will definitely help you out. Uh, first and foremost, use humor. Use humor to calm them down. Because humor is, if you are funny, of course, and they find you funny, it is a great way to really be able to uh, build on, um, not only your personality, but get them to get to know you a little bit but also really understanding uh, that whatever they're going through, it could be very small and it's not a big deal and they can move forward, you know, and with you in a positive direction in the interaction and life could be better for them, you know, just by calming down and laughing a little bit. And they realize whatever they were, uh, whatever was giving them a bad attitude uh, was not that serious. You know, and they can move forward and you guys could have a positive action, uh, interaction. You know, so that is definitely one thing you could do. Use humor. Humor is very important. And even if they're not in a bad mood, um, get them more comfortable with you. You know, humor, humor, humor. Number two, call it out. Sometimes women, that is just what they do. When it comes to men who they're not really... Uh, initially comfortable with they may use an attitude you know what I mean just to kind of scare them off or to um, act as if they are um, uh, being bothered you know what I mean when it's really more of a nervousness and that is just how they express it you know um, but call it out sometimes if you call it out uh, they're not really aware of it. It's kind of more of a, uh, a mechanism that their body does to kind of protect themselves and to feel more comfortable. But if you call it out, sometimes they become more aware of it and they shut it down. I had a situation like that, you know, a couple weeks ago with a woman who I approached. She kind of seemed a little hostile. I called it out. I said, like, whoa, you seem a little hostile. Then all of a sudden, she broke out in a smile. And I smiled back, you know, and, you know, it was a good interaction for the most part. You know what I mean? So sometimes calling it out will help. Um, and that will calm them down and then you could pursue uh, 
whatever your interests are with that person, that woman, and move forward. You know what I mean? So it's uh, because, again, sometimes people are not aware of how they run or how they're reacting or how they're looking. So calling it out will definitely help out a lot. So yes, tip number three. Let them vet a little bit. Sometimes, not too much. Again, key word, a little bit. Yeah, you, know, you don't want to be like their therapist or their gay male uh, best friend. You know, you want to let them know that hey, you can talk a little bit, get it out. Sometimes that's all they need, just a little talk, maybe throw in a little humor. You know? And then once they get it out, they'll be okay. As long as it's not forever and as long as it's not too negative and too draining for you, just let them vet a little bit so, you you know, they can get it out and feel more comfortable. You know, so um, that is the big one. Just let them vet, talk it out, uh, be done with it. Um, outside of that, I definitely appreciate y'all being here. <clears throat> I appreciate all that y'all are doing here. Uh, support me, watching the videos, liking the videos, um, sharing the videos. That is very important. If you've already made it this far in the video, definitely and if you're enjoying the video, share the video. Let us get this message out to more people who need it so we can, again, make this world a more positive place. And, of course, uh, subscribe, hit that notification button so you'll be notified for whenever I upload some new videos. That'll be a great thing indeed. And I really, 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 really appreciate it. So, uh, let's move on. So, yes, we've definitely gone over the past three. You can use humor to calm them down. You can call it out. You can flirt. Tip number four. Tip number four. Definitely. Um, <laughs> sorry, something came over my phone. But yeah, tip number four. You can flirt with them. Sometimes they just in a bad mood. And that's just what they're dealing with. They're in a bad mood for whatever reason. They have, maybe they they sexually frustrated. You know, maybe they looking for some attention. And then you just happen to be the right guy who understands whatever she's going through has nothing to do with you. And you can flirt with her, you know, and she kind of flirts back. And things go well. The interaction goes well. And then, hey. You get you a number or whatever else you were looking for in that situation and you turn the bad situation into a good situation flirting and, and when they're already in a bad mood that is the next step to being in a sexual uh, 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 in a sexual mood because you got to understand that bad mood apologize is the uh, is it's like when you're having sex and you really feeling it. You know what I mean? You get into it. It's like, you're using that aggression to get into the sexual act. You know what I mean? And using that to really enjoy the moment. You know? So sometimes that, that, that flirting can transition that bad mood into a sexual mood. And that can really help you out. So yes, thank you again. You've made it to the end of the video. I got the bonus here for you. And it's a very powerful bonus. Could save you a lot of time, save you a lot of heartache, uh, especially if you are not a person who is not into uh, dealing with people who are uh, having attitudes. And of course, the bonus, if you haven't already guessed, is to not deal with them and move on. Of course, that's the easy way. You know what I mean? If you're not willing to uh, deal with somebody who has an attitude, don't do it. Uh, move on. Have your peace and uh, find somebody else who is not having an attitude. So that is all I got for y'all here today. Definitely let me know if you liked the video or not. If you did, definitely again, thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button, share the video. Again, let us get this message out to more people so we can make this world a better place and let other people be the best versions of themselves. 
Uh, let me know if you think I missed anything in my video, let me, or let me know if you think I, everything was spot on. Let me know if you liked the list. If you didn't like the list, let me know respectfully, of course. Um, outside of that, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. Um, and of course, donations are always appreciated. Donations are always appreciated. Any little bit counts. They help me uh, bring more higher quality videos to you guys. So please donate whatever you can if you enjoy the video. Outside of that, definitely, I appreciate y'all being here. I hope to see y'all uh, next week. Y'all stay safe. Keep on getting stronger. Keep on getting better. And of course, always remember, the strongest person is the happiest person.